Yo guys, this is your boy back in a video. Today video I'm is my setup on your game one preview. So yeah, before that video, be sure to smash the button, comment down below, and be subscribed. Let's get started. Of course, this is my start of on game one preview. I'll be telling you your first size scores, how going to land and if I was need to win and lose. And the lineups and I'll be telling you my tip at the end. So yeah. So the blues 2022 lineup because it is four pack and comes in James the disc I gave it to Teddy. On the wings are Brian Toho and Danny Tupo. Danny Tupo. In the centers are Katoni Starks and Jack White. And in the halves are Joe Miller and Nathan Cleary. And the front row is a Payne Eyes and, Jun and Junior Palo. Hooker is Damien Cook. And the second one is a Kelvin Mowry and Tarek Sims. Lock and it's a Sayo. In the bench is Stephen Quint and Lee Martin. We can go McGill out of Wayne Madison and the reserves are Nico Hines, Tyson Vizel, Jacob Saifidi, Joseph Suwali and uh, and up his side goal so mm. not bad, not bad. So so the blues Denver Dons are got Tony Starks from the Broncos, Ryan Madison from the Eels, and Stephen Crichton when we painted. So our 2022 lineup, I'm saying our because I'm a Queenslander, our 2022 lineup because it's for this four pack Kenny Ponga and our wings are Sandwin Copper and, and Xavier Xavier Coach. Our centers are Valley Dunn Holmes and Dan Gaga. Our halves are Cameron Munson, Captain our Captain Daily Cherry Evans. I'm predicting right now that Daily Evans will kick the field goal. I mean I mean we'll kick the forty twenty for oh yeah. Yeah, Daily Cherry Evans, you will kick a 40-20, I'll be taking that one now. And the forwards are Tina Fasun, Reali, Josh Papali'i, Hooker is Ben Hunt. And the second one is the co-caber, Felice Kafusi, Lock is Weaving Cotter, and the interchange bench, Howie Quinn, Lindsay Collins, Patrick Carrigan, and Jamie Nainanai. And who reserves are Tom Deedin, Chai Oz, Thomas Fleckler, the hammer, I gave a hammer so top of your and Maui Tulangi. And our dummy don'ts are Sandwin Cobo for the Broncos, Ruben Carter from the Cowboys, Patty Carrigan from the Broncos, and Jamie Nainana from the Cowboys. So yeah. I reckon. So yeah. I reckon this virus got the win. Of the kicking game and and also the forwards, the forwards need to get up like Painas and Junior Palo. They need to get up. That's all. now for the now for the losing part. Now the centers, Katoni, Chuck Ryan. I went with well, well in back in round three, running on Holmes, running on just two Katoni Stags, and of course. Two weeks ago, Stephen Quayne defeated Cato Finally Down Holmes. So, yeah. Cartoni Chuck Chuck White in on the half. Good, not good. Here. Yeah. Put Stephen Quayne in the number four so he can be versus Finally Down Holmes. And put Ryan in the number 14. Simple, but they're stuffed up. I reckon, I reckon they're stuffed up because, yeah. The uh, actual stuffed up with the lineup centers. Now, now for our winnings, now for our winnings, like when we need to step up our forwards, Fasumi Ali and Josh Papali'i, and our kicking games need to be on point. I reckon it's, I reckon whoever's the better half who will win. Like it's Nathan Cleary versus Daily Cherry Owens, our captain. And yeah. That's how they got to win. I will lose. I reckon our concerns is for our concerns is for like our uh, let's see how you how you con con let's see how you explain it. Our concerns are daily cherry Evan. No man, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, our concerns are the forwards because. Yeah, that's how concerns our forwards as well. So yeah, they need to step up our forwards. And yeah. So, 
Balland Holmes and Dan Gagai, uh, I agree. Well, I don't agree with Dan Gagai. Right, if so. Cartoni Starks, is he ready for engine or not? I reckon he is. I reckon Cartoni Starks, he's ready for engine. So because he's... Because he's been amazing so far at the Broncos, of course. So, yeah. He's been ready for engine already. Stephen Crichton, is he ready for engine? Yes, he is, I reckon. I reckon he is. He's a full fit Panther player and put him in the centers. God. I, know, I, hope, I hope that doesn't happen because I'm a Queensland fan, but at the same time, I hope that happens because, yeah. And Wayne Martin, Wayne Martin is a, I love him. He's a player to watch. Of the come, he's up against Jamie Nana on the bench. He's the player to watch is he, and he's amazing. Uh, Jam, he's up against Jamie Nana, like I said before. He's, he's such an amazing player, Wayne Madison. So I love watching him play. Alrighty, so I know the Queensland dude. Sandlin Cobb, is he ready to play Origin? As a Queenslander, I reckon it's not. I reckon he's not. Oh, in origin form, but Peter had winged him up. Winged him up. He's like, he, of course, he, he's he's up he's up against Brian Toho, and yeah, Samuel Cobo is not worthy of origin. I'm a Queensland fan, to be honest. I know some people say he is. Some people say he don't. I reckon he's don't. Now is Ruben Collar fit? Yes, love watching him play. Ruben Collar, love love watching Ruben Collar play. Of course, so uh, yeah, I love him. I love watching him play. Patrick Cowigan, he's up against Wigan and Miguel Is Pat Cowigan? Yes, he is. He is ready to play, guys. He is ready to play, of course. Pat Cowigan is such an amazing and informed player. He's in amazing form. And he's Jamie Nane, ready to play. Yes, he is. Love him. I love to watch him. As well, as well as Cowigan, Cotter and Cobra, of course, and Madison and Grain and Stags, of course. No, no, he's fit to play. My only concern is Cobo. I know, I know he's got a lot of tries, but he's not ready to play. Also, Adokar is what? Well, Adokar. He should be in the uh, New South Wales squad, but no, he's not. It's all to take the way which has been. Dropped auto. Also, I don't know why. And Oates. Corey Oates wouldn't be in there. But I reckon Corey Oates has been robbed for that spot. For Sandwin Gobbo. But oh well, Sandwin Gobbo. I hope, I hope he does well. In our... In our... In our remote... My own. So yeah. My tip. Sorry, New South Wales. But I'm actually taking... Queensland 13 plus, I'm actually taking Queensland to win 26 points at 18 tomorrow night. So yeah, 26 points at 18, which is probably not. So yeah, like I said before, probably it's the halves that win us, a, well, well, we win, we win the claim if Cleary, keep, Nathan Cleary's kicking game goes well, well, that... If Cleary's kicking game goes bad, well, Queensland will win, like, same old Sherry, Sherry Evans. Sherry Evans kicking, uh, kicking game goes bad, needs to have Irish win it. So, yeah, guys. So, yeah, guys. I'm um, sorry, guys. I must my side of origin game on preview. Hope you enjoyed this little nine-minute video. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. Be sure to smash the button, comment below, and subscribe, and go to the me ones.